Morning guys, it's Amy here for our latest Life Words video. Now today's passage is Mark chapter 9 verses 2 to 13. And it's a bit of a crazy story. See, one day Jesus is out for a walk and he takes with him Peter, James and John and they go up a high mountain by themselves. I don't know about you, but I hate mountain walking. And I wonder how Peter, James and John felt on this day as they went out for this walk with Jesus. But suddenly something different happens because Jesus suddenly is lit up. He is brighter than dazzling, radiant, intensely white clothes. And there, Beside a shining Jesus appears Elijah and Moses. Now this is weird. Why Elijah and Moses? Well, Moses, because he, I guess, symbolises the law. Elijah, that great prophet, the two men, therefore, symbolising the whole, I guess, of the Old Testament. And Jesus is suddenly different to how he has been before. His light is shining out of him and off of him. Now, I would have been completely shocked if this had happened. And Peter begins to talk rubbish. Lord, should we set up shelters for Elijah and Moses? Should we give them somewhere to stay? But then a cloud overshadows them all. A cloud that speaks out these words. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. And suddenly the disciples look up and there's nothing there anymore. Just Jesus as they were used to seeing him. I wonder how confused and shocked the disciples were. And as they start to go back down the mountain, Jesus says to them, don't tell anyone about this. Don't tell anyone until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. What on earth is going on here? Well, firstly, I think the disciples, Peter, James and John, saw something different in Jesus. How could they miss it? This is a supernatural experience. Jesus is clothes, dazzling white, bright, shining light. Elijah and Moses, these two guys that have been dead for years, appear beside him. What's going on here? Well, the disciples get a little glimpse of the glory of Jesus. He's not just human, Jesus, they're best friends. God is showing them something of Jesus's majesty, of his set apartness, perhaps of his purpose in coming to fulfill the Old Testament, to fulfill the law, to fulfill all of those prophecies made about the Messiah. Here is Jesus. And what was God's message speaking from the clouds? This is my beloved son. Listen to him. What might be the challenge for us today? Now, I don't know about you, but there are certain times in my life where I have known God's goodness and glory in more tangible ways. Perhaps it's been in a big session of worship at something like Soul Survivor where I've just felt like I just started to cry. And I don't know why, but I'm just so overwhelmed by the sense of God's presence amongst us. Perhaps it was in a sermon where I was convicted or just touched. I was so aware that God was just directly speaking to me at that time. The word just spoke exactly into my situation. Perhaps it was in a time of prayer where praying with friends or alone, I was just so aware of God's presence again. Perhaps in a ministry time, at access where we just so tangibly feel that God is with us. Maybe you've been there when maybe people have started to fall over in the spirit, maybe just an awareness of who God is in a stronger way. Where do we need to be expecting that God might just have something to say to us and want to speak to us? See, Peter, James and John probably just thought they were going off on a regular mountain walk with Jesus to pray, but God wanted to show them something more about who Jesus was. Where can we set aside time to pray, to worship, to read scripture and trust that maybe God might just want to show up and show us something about himself or to teach us something more about ourselves? Because Jesus isn't just an ordinary man. He wasn't just the best friend of these disciples. He was the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And that same Jesus back then is the same Jesus we worship today. Do we expect to encounter him today? Do we want to see more of his glory today? Do we want to grow in our walk with him? And are we going to listen to those words that God spoke from the cloud? This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Do you know the words that Jesus shared? 
Are you listening to them and following him today?